if you are a business in South Africa and that's where you do business and you don't have a plan to grow beyond the borders, you know you are dying. That's a given. Because if you don't get out and conquer other markets, other African countries are going to come in here and conquer yours. You won't believe how much James Mwangi is raring to get into this market with Equity Bank. He believes he can come and shake this industry, the banking sector. Now think about it. This is a collective saving scheme that was turned around in Kenya. And it has won this man two financial times, I think, Banker of the Year awards, African Banker of the Year awards, the Forbes Person of the Year. He is just a superstar if you're talking business on the African continent. So, but when you do get out also, it's first acknowledging you have 54 different countries, markets, and of course you can start with a hub and spoke model. Is that, yeah. There's no harm in saying I'm gonna position myself in Kenya, develop an East African persona, and radiate out of Nairobi into the rest of the East African region. Of course there'll be countries where you can't get in from any other country except when you're there. And you see it when Kenya Post Authority all of a sudden has offices in Uganda, in, in Kampala, and in, in, in Kigali. Because they realize that with the East African community, they are able to service clients deep into the, even the landlocked countries. In, in, in West Africa, depending how, you, I mean, your risk aversion and your, your, your boldness, Nigeria is going to claim its part. You can't ignore it because it doesn't matter what you sell, you can sell it in Nigeria. So if you have a hub in West Africa, you have a hub in, in East, and you have a hub in a country like Zimbabwe or Zambia, you can, you can do reasonably well without having 54 offices. So that's part of the strategy. The second thing is making sure you staff your company with experts, but experts from African countries as well. You may have to go to London and to New York to find Nigerians who have the qualifications you're looking for and the experience and the sophistication, but they are there, trust me. So that, that is the story that you can take your business and succeed in another country using your sophisticated systems and back office, whatever you have here, but you have to make sure you adapt your strategy, your pricing, your product mix, and a whole lot of other things. That